Hello viewers, today for initial checkout we have an AT ampersand T digital or digitan answering system. This is the model 1726 and this is not any digital answering system. This one is with mailboxes. Excellent sound quality. When did AT&T get into the comedy business? 40 minutes of Digitan recording time. Three mailboxes. Move messages between mailboxes. That's actually pretty cool. And one of the features that makes this particular machine interesting to me. Because I think that feature makes the mailboxes, having the multiple mailboxes, a lot more useful. So let's take a look at this answering machine. Show the box here. You can pause the video and take a look at the features. That's another pretty cool feature. However, it doesn't work unless it has the caller's consent. That's a shame. Made in the China. Ooh, made in China. Hopefully it still works. All right, let's see here. What do we have inside? Here is the instruction manual. Oh, no, this isn't the instruction manual. This is important product information. And this, let's see here. This may be the instruction manual. Printed in China. Ooh, China. This looks like it may be from the early 2000s. And it looks like the original owner may have set the priority call code. Oh, this is one of those freak show manuals where it reads like a newspaper. I'm not going to open that up right now. Here is the Digitan answering machine itself. And there's the setting of the clock. And there's the informations. Made in China. This is some air. Cool. Where's the power cord? Ugh. The letter H didn't include the power cord. Even worse, this doesn't seem to indicate what it would have input it just as power so now I guess I'm gonna to have to unfold that crazy manual to see if it has any specifications regarding the power adapter Here we go. The AC adapter. Oh, geez, this isn't going to be one that I have. It outputs the 6 volts AC at 350 milliamps. I don't think I have one of those. I know I have plenty of 6 volt models, but they're going to be a DC output. This one's an AC output. Jeez. This video is going to have to get a part two because I'm going to have to look for an adapter. I don't have one of those offhand.